You've seen plenty of videos of the success of the RAID tenor on 7 MHz and upwards. Today though, we'll try it on 80 meters. I've previously done 80 meters pedestrian mobile with the magnetic loop, but results have always been quite poor. It's been a struggle to get a contact. It seems that when you halve the frequency, you quadruple the problems, and your efficiency is only a fraction of what it was on the higher band. But given the RAID tenor's fantastic results on 40 meters, I think we're willing to sacrifice a bit of efficiency to get operating on 80 meters. And so we present the experimental version of the RAID tenor on 80 meters. It hasn't been on air yet, so in this video you'll see its debut. Like with the original RAID tenor, it's a 5 meter long centre loaded vertical. Most of the inductance is on the yellow coil. However, I've added a bit more, which is variable, to allow fine adjustments. The yellow coil is around 80 microhenry, according to the formula, and this run probably goes up to 30 or 40. As to the coil details, it's about 96 turns of thin insulated wire. The outside diameter of the former is around 35 millimeters. And as to this coil, that's a somewhat thicker coil, around 45 or 50 millimeters. And it's tapped about halfway. You really need to do your own experiments and testing as to the number of turns you'll need for the frequencies you want. I'll use the same L-match coupler as on the 40 to 6 metre raid tenor. Now the coils are a lot bigger and heavier on 80 metres, so I'm going to have to use some gaffer tape. You can find the approximate resonant point of an antenna by putting the receiver in AM, although you don't have to, and tuning coarsely across the frequency range. In this case, there's a sharp noise peak around 3.3 MHz. The resonant frequency was too low, even with the smaller coil put to minimum inductance. So I've cut the inductance on the larger coil. stations works were within 100 or 150 kilometers. It's not spectacularly successful but I think it's definitely better than the magnetic loop. And for some reason walking in water seemed to have less difference to the signal than on 40 or 30 meters. And the antenna's bandwidth is suspiciously wide so there's no doubt that it could be made more efficient, probably with a better and thicker coil. No way 